Hello and welcome again to this another video on their principles and theories of language acquisition and learning. So this is the last school of thought that we are going to discuss, so particularly in second language acquisition. So this is constructivism, a multidisciplinary approach. Okay, so let's have constructivism. Constructivism is hardly a new school of thought. Jim Piaget and Le, Lev Vygotsky names often associated with constructivism are not by any means new to the scene of language studies. Yet, in a variety of post-structuralist theoretical positions, constructivism emerged as a prevailing paradigm only in the last part of the 20th century and is now almost an orthodoxy. So orthodox means correct in teaching. So this was already proven correct. Okay, so be reminded that this is the reason why it's multidisciplinary because it has two branches. So we have the cognitive and social. Cognitive emphasis, emphasis is placed on the importance of learners constructing their own representation of reality. Learners must individually discover and transform complex information if they are to make it their own, suggesting a more active role for students in their own learning than is typical in many classrooms. Such claims are rooted in Piaget's seminal work in the middle of the 20th century, but have taken that long to become widely accepted views for Piaget. Learning is a developmental process that involves change, self-generation, and construction, each building on prior learning experiences. So that's for cognitive constructivism. And then we have social constructivism. It emphasizes the importance of social interaction and cooperative learning in constructing both cognitive and emotional images of reality. So constructivism is a cool of thought that emphasizes both the learner's role in constructing meaning out of available linguistic input that is in their brain and the importance of social interaction in creating a new linguistic system. Early constructivists like Vygotsky and Piaget actively emphasized their views many decades ago. So let's dig deeper to the social constructivism by Lev Vygotsky. So one of the most popular concepts advanced by Vygotsky was the notion of zone of proximal development in every learner, ZPD. It's the distance between learners' existing developmental state and their potential development. Put another way, the CPD describes tasks that a learner has not yet learned but is capable of learning with appropriate stimuli. The CPD is an important facet of social constructivism because it describes a task that a child cannot yet do alone but could do with the assistance of more competent peers or adults. A number of applications of Vygotsky's ZPT have been made to foreign language acquisition in both adult and child second language learning contexts. And for your information, the good teacher or more knowledgeable other MKO or MKO identifies a learner's ZPD and helps them stretch beyond it. This is the one that is more knowledgeable to teach the learner. We call that more knowledgeable other, MKO. Okay? So that social constructivism focuses on the social interaction of the learner for the improvement of his or her second language acquisition. Okay, so let me just give this to you, the timetable for the different schools of thought. Okay, so you may have a screenshot of this one, okay? So you would know the time frame of these um, psychologies, theories, okay? So all three of the historical positions were described in this section. We have the structural the behavioral, the generative, cognitive, and constructivist. 
So, they must be seen as important in creating balanced descriptions of second language acquisition. Okay? So, for this video, I have this reference, just the ebook, okay? So, Principles of Language Learning and Teaching by H. Douglas. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for listening, watching this video. Have another educational video on my next episode. Thank you so much and goodbye.